I'm John Skinner, and this supports Chapter 5 of my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. This is the website that I use when a storm is in the area uh, to help time my fishing. The bottom plot is uh, barometric pressure, and I'm very interested in that steep drop. The top plot, uh, the blue line, is predicted water level. The red line is observed, and the green is the difference between the two. I'm fishing with the top bucktail in this video. That's an SNS one ounce, and it's tipped with an otter tail bait strip. All right, we're starting off a little bit dark here, but it's going to lighten up as we go along. Now, storms often provide uh, really excellent fishing potential, and uh, in most cases, it's a matter of getting the right timing. And um, what I'm focusing on here is the onset of the storm. So if you look back at that plot or recall that plot, it would have been um, the early part of the steep uh, section of the barometric pressure really taking a dive. And uh, this is often a good time to fish. Fish are often on the feet at this time, and yet uh, you know, the water conditions are usually holding up at early on in the storm. Later on in the storm, could be a different story, and we're going to get to see that. And this is actually the third fish of the trip, but the other uh, two, it was just too dark to see anything on the video. At times you're going to hear the wind, uh, depending on how I've got my head angled. And it may not look it, but it's blowing about 20 knots, so a little bit higher gusts here and there. But it's at a favorable uh, direction for this particular spot, so uh, it's not too bad out in front of me, and I'm able to make a good presentation. And that's part of fishing a storm also, is picking uh, where you're going to fish for a particular wind. And uh, as I've mentioned recently, I've just moved, and uh, I'm not familiar with a lot of the waters that I'm fishing with, even the angles that they face. So I find myself at this uh, early stage of learning some of these waters, I find myself going up on Google Earth to really zero in on the orientation of these shorelines and to try and match that up with the winds so that, you know, if I've got a 30 knot wind, I don't particularly want that in my face. And, uh, you know, this is helping guiding me, choosing my spots uh, for fishing conditions. You can hear that wind's picking up. It's going to get a lot stronger um, over the next 24 hours or so of this storm. It's not storm related, but something I noticed myself doing is that now that I'm fishing some newer waters that I'm not sure of, I really want to eliminate any variables as to um, why I might not catch. And uh, you know, one of those is a lure. You know, maybe you, you're picking the wrong lures. And I find myself um, in the early stages of fishing these places, fishing bucktails almost all of the time because I've got so much confidence in the bucktail, and I know it will handle you know all different kinds of currents and depths and uh, everything else. So. Yeah, it's interesting. I've got a, a bag of stuff with me, and pretty much I have a hard time not fishing with a bucktail. Now, how the fishing reacts to a storm uh, has a lot to do with what time of the year it is. I'm in the very uh, early part of the season, especially for these uh, eastern Long Island waters, and the waters are still a bit cool, and in th these particular areas it's mostly shallow. I know you see a a nice uh, you know, creek channel in front of me. But for the most part, the waters are shallow, and the water temperatures are running in the low 50s. And this particular storm, the temperatures are going to hang around 47 degrees for a day or so. Actually, it's going to end up going down to about 45. So there's going to be uh, an impact to the, the cold that's going to come with this storm. And where that cold could be a catalyst in, let's say, September, that cold hitting when the water temperatures are only running 52 or 53 in the early spring, you know, that cold could be something that shuts down a bite. And the address of that website that I use is tidesonline.nos.noaa.gov. And this is one of those forecasts where they say rain, heavy at times. Um, I, I like to see that. To me, that's an indication of a significant weather system that could really have an impact on the fishing. I mean, most often the weather forecasters don't um, commit like that. They usually say, you know, possibility of rain, chance of rain, you know, and, and things like that. But when they say rain, period, to me, uh, that's probably a substantial weather system. 
Okay, as for the gear, this rod is a Penn Battalion rated 8 to 15 pound test line. It's a 7 footer. The reel is a Penn Clash 3000. It's spooled with 30 pound test spider wire ultra cast braid. At the end of the braid, I have a 30 inch liter of 30 pound test mono and it's connected to the braid with a high quality barrel swivel, either a Spro or a Tsunami Centro and the lure is attached to the leader with a 50 pound test tactical angler's clip. And I'm using 30 pound test monofilament for the leader material as opposed, as opposed to something heavier because there really aren't any bluefish up in the area yet so um, you know this is just fine for the bass. As for presentation, I've got multiple edges both in terms of current and depth here so uh, I'm trying to cast up into something that's a little bit shallower let it settle I'm making uh, quite an effort to stay down deep and uh, where it drops off down to like eight or nine feet right there you, you see that if you see me stop like that um, I'm just letting it settle down and then get it going again and uh, the fishing to be all along the edges I dropped that one. Uh, don't lose too many on the bucktail. You know, you've got that nice firm single hook. Usually if you stick them really good on the hook set, they're not going to come undone, but that's not always the case. Okay, I'm going to show uh, just another couple of fish, and then I'm going to show what it looks like the next day. And I, I won't narrate that part because the wind is going to be blowing so hard, uh, you're not going to be able to hear the narration very well. And at that point, the wind's blowing about 35 knots, and it's been blowing hard for a while. It has gotten cold. I'm sure the water temperature's dropped several degrees. And even though the water's going to be manageable, that's going to be fast, it's going to be high, but it's still quite fishable. Uh, I'm not even going to be able to get a hit, not even a single hit. In the same spot, 24 hours later, uh, first light early in the morning same you know same everything but the conditions have changed and you know you can see some weed in the water there and then there's going to end up being quite a bit of weed uh, the next morning but not so much that I couldn't fish through it it's just that the fish had shut down and it was a matter of storm timing you know uh, clearly I've got it timed well here you know I'm showing some fish but I ended up catching a lot of fish on this particular trip next morning same spot not a touch all right if you want to skip ahead to that uh, that's going to be at the 10 minute mark. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel. And as I mentioned earlier, here comes the rough stuff. And uh, yeah, it's it's quite fishable, but it's nasty conditions and uh, just nothing. You know, not even a touch. Just could not get a hit.